Ninth house is a scam, here's why. I have the south node there. I know, bitter, bitter, bitter. I'm not bitter, you're bitter. Of course, the ninth house isn't a scam, but it's much more than just beliefs, religion, philosophy, the meaning of life as well. It also represents law, religion, travel, spiritual practices, higher education, higher knowledge, but it also represents lifestyles, the lifestyles that we want to create for ourselves. The ninth house is representative of godlike energy in Hellenistic astrology. This is why Sun finds planetary joy in the ninth house. Different energies can bring about how you may approach those themes in life. Of course, we're going to go through the signs and the planets in the ninth house. Ninth house in Aries, Mars in the ninth house. You may have a more direct approach to higher education, higher knowledge, or even just creating the lifestyle that you want for yourself. Do steer clear from any conflicts, tension, or any disputes in regards to spiritual teachers, gurus, religious leaders, spiritual practitioners, etc. It may not always resonate with what is said or the knowledge that is given. You may forge your own path in higher education, or perhaps you'll find a better sense of independence through higher education, higher knowledge as well. Finding a meaning of life or finding a certain belief system that best resonates with you can also give you a sense of passion and energy. Just be careful not to get into any beliefs or philosophy on an impulse. Ninth house in Taurus, Venus in the ninth house. Finding what you believe in, finding your own meaning of life can help you to establish a sense of worth and value for yourself. Don't be too dogmatic in your beliefs though. Do be sure to keep an open mind to others' perspectives. Keeping open to receptivity can bring new opportunities to travel or it can bring some new opportunities to learn about a new belief system. You may be able to earn some coin from these opportunities, look. Nonetheless, your belief system and your own personal meaning of life can help to self-replenish you. Ninth house in Gemini, Mercury in the ninth house. Very curious about the different belief systems out there, aren't you? Stay curious, stay inquisitive about what's out there because you're going to learn a lot of knowledge that you're meant to share with others at a later date. Though you want to stay weary about spreading any misinformation or gossiping about spiritual teachers, gurus, spiritual practices, higher knowledge, or higher education in general. Your immediate environment, your local community, or your neighborhood could help you find a better sense of meaning for your life. But it is pivotal to connect with others that may share the same belief system as you because it's going to help you to become more aware of yourself. Now stop the gossip. 9,000 Cancer, the moon in the ninth house. You'll find emotional fulfillment through belief systems, philosophies, finding your own meaning of life as well. It is important to find a belief system that does resonate with you emotionally. And also pay attention to your intuition because this can help you to discern which belief systems, spiritual practices, higher knowledge is for you and what's not for you. You may find that you may move around a lot if you have moon in the ninth house especially. It's like the CVS version of moon and Sag look. But this placement speaks more about the inner knowing of self, your inner meaning of life. Now, this is an authentic expression about your belief system, so make sure that your belief systems also resonate with your sense of authenticity, which means an awareness of your foundational self. Look. Ninth house in Leo, sun in the ninth house. As I stated earlier, the sun is in planetary joy here, according to Hellenistic astrology. The sun in the ninth house places a major focus on what you want your life to be. What do you want to create in your life? Who do you want to be? And what action are you taking to get there? Sun in the ninth house can definitely build confidence when you're taking consistent action based off of what it is that you would want to bring in. This placement is great for manifestation and it can also be a signifactor of great fortune in your life. Though beware, the ninth house is fifth from the fifth. It's a higher expression of the fifth house. Since the fifth house is traditionally ruled by the sun, this is going to be the highest expression of the sun. Doesn't mean the sun is exalted here, but it is important to watch your ego here. Egotism can definitely stem from this placement. As well as overconfidence, remember the ninth house is the traditional house for expansion. Virgo in the ninth house, Mercury in the ninth house. This expression of Mercury is more meticulous, juxtaposed, being witty and lighthearted. With this expression, you have a more traditional approach to a spirituality, spiritual practices, higher knowledge, higher learning, and your own personal meaning of life. You are looking for a step-by-step -step approach to make your life better. Though be sure not to overthink or overanalyze any belief systems or philosophies. It'll leave you guessing, look. With this placement, it may be hard to plan certain things. More with Mercury in the ninth, not Virgo in the ninth. Virgo in the ninth can definitely come up with a plan. But this placement does tend to systemize higher education, higher knowledge, spiritual practices, beliefs, and religion. Issues can definitely come while traveling, though, because Virgo will just bring that. Ninth house in Libra, Venus in the ninth house. With Libra in the ninth house or this expression of Venus, other people will definitely help you out on your journey. They'll definitely be a guidance to help you find the meaning of life or to help you just find a belief system or philosophy that best resonates with you. It is important to stay open to other people's perspectives, beliefs, or philosophies because it can actually help you on your journey. Your spouse may even be somebody who's foreign or from an international country. This placement out of all placements will tend to attract people that share the same belief system as them. This placement will also open yourself to traveling opportunities, opportunities to learn more about a belief system or philosophy just by opening yourself to receptivity. Ninth house in Scorpio, Mars, and Pluto in the ninth house. Kind 
of similar to the eighth house in a sense. These natives will have a deep understanding of the meaning of life personalized for them. They may not be so open about what they believe in or their philosophy on life. Perhaps they can be part of an occult religion, but they do have a lot of knowledge that they should share with other people. The expression of Mars here will be more strategic especially when it comes to creating the life of their desires. With Pluto here, it could be very transformative. Definitely watch out for narcissism. This is for both the native and other people in their lives. There could be traumatic events with finding the meaning of life philosophy or trying to follow the lifestyle of somebody else who may not have enough experience or may appear to be naive. This placement also needs to let go of limiting beliefs or any beliefs that are no longer serving them. That way they can step into their highest self. This is also regenerating energy too. They may find that their belief systems or their philosophies will help them to transmute energies. It can also help them to step into their power. Look. I have to take a break. I've been sitting on my butt. Ninth house in Sagittarius, Jupiter in the ninth house. The traditional home for Jupiter. This carefree energy just wants to live the life of their desires. They just want it easy. Let's be real. They want the comfort. But there's a lot of wisdom that is gained through a lot of situations in their lives. Usually it's outside of their control because 12 places from the ninth house is the eighth house. These individuals can be great spiritual teachers and guides for the universe. They can guide other people into their spiritual journey. But these individuals need to be aware of their audience. I'm going to be real. Nobody wants that preachy, teachy, lecture, Larry energy. I saw what I said. Opportunities for travel come effortlessly. These individuals just know how to manifest money or resources that they need. And their consciousness naturally expands over time because of the situations that they've gone through and the wisdom that is gained. Another placement that needs to watch the ego. They do have a big heart, but sometimes they can also appear to be arrogant to other people. Nine out of ten times, y'all don't care anyway. Ninth house in Capricorn, Saturn in the ninth house. Not my favorite placement, I'm not gonna lie here. I'm currently going through a Saturn in the ninth transit. I just don't recommend, no. This placement can bring some unnecessary hardships and obstacles to your belief systems, may question your faith, may test your faith a lot too. You may feel like the universe or God is not listening to your prayers. You may feel limited in your beliefs as well. This placement can also attract a lot of narcissism in their lives. Rather it be from other people or they can actually become the narcissist because they want to control the situation. It is important to discipline yourself, especially with your belief system. But staying consistent with creating the life that you want for yourself will definitely bring some big results for you. And it's going to be long lasting. Look. These individuals do tend to have more traditional belief systems in place and can also indicate that a spiritual business can be in the cards for you. Nevertheless, these individuals can also be great spiritual teachers. Aquarius in the ninth house, Saturn and Uranus in the ninth house. These natives have an unconventional approach to their belief system, their faith, as well as their philosophies and the meaning of their lives. They may question traditional belief systems or belief systems that may be outdated. They may not follow religion, may create their own religion, but they bring a lot of cosmic knowledge to the forefront. These individuals can also bring a new way of looking at our belief systems as well as how we can create the life that we want for ourselves. These individuals may come into their spiritual awakening quite quickly, and these individuals bring new and creative ways to bring spirituality to the collective. Chaotic tendencies can tend to be expanded with this placement. These individuals can also have a large friend group as well. Ninth house in Pisces, Jupiter and Neptune in the ninth house. These individuals tend to be excellent students of life. Though these individuals may find it hard to just pinpoint a certain belief system, they may switch up their beliefs or they may change their philosophy quite quickly. Essentially, they're going with the flow of life. These individuals can tap into their imagination to create the life that they want for themselves. Though, do be aware that the full picture will not be revealed all at once. I actually have this placement natally and it's a show. And then put my south node conjunct the MC there. Yeah. This placement is also another example of a great spiritual teacher, but just be aware not to fall into the illusions of other people's philosophies or belief systems. This can lead to getting involved in false spiritual practices. This can also lead to psychological damage. Pay attention to your mental health here. And do not use your belief system or philosophy as a means to escape your everyday life. What sign is on your ninth house and do you have any placements there? Let me know in the comments.